Hello, Venango County, and welcome to the first annual Coca-Cola Diamond Bowl No Tap Doubles Tournament. I am Dale Klingensmith, and along with me today is the sports editor of the Franklin News Herald, Ed Brannon. Uh, Ed, do you want to set the stage for what's going to happen here today? Uh, yeah, Dale. Uh, we'll be having a stepladder final here. Uh, the top five teams, starting with the fifth place versus the fourth place teams, and moving on up to the championship game where Glenn Dillon and Walter Hunt will be defending the first title, I guess. Okay, in our first game today, just to set the stage, we'll have Craig Wyant and Rick Graham. They were the top qualifiers from Friday night, and they'll be going up against Barry Hazy and Dom Yanello. So without further ado, let's get on with the action. For those of you that may be unfamiliar with the format we'll be using here today, a nine count on the first ball is the same as a strike. And Rick chops a one pin off for an eight count in the first. Come up a little light on that second ball there, Quail. Now this will be Rick's partner. Oh, excuse me, they're, they're gonna they're gonna alternate. This is Barry Hazy here. This is Barry Hazy. On alley five. He also comes up light, seven count. This is a doubles format. Winner will be determined by adding both player score plus their handicap. In this particular game, Craig Wyant comes in with a handicap of 29. Rick Graham has a handicap of 8, so they will receive 37 extra pins in this game. Hazy spare shot. He too misses. 9 out in the first for Hazy. Barry comes in with a handicap of 26, while Dom Yanello, his partner, has a handicap of 31, so they'll receive 57 pins. Wyant shot and it's a strike. And on the Brooklyn side there, Quails. Been bowling for 10 years, Craig Wyatt. Dom Yanello quickly up on the approach in alley five. Tough break for Dom. 8 10 left, split. Left the 8 10, Quinn. He's been bowling for 50 years. This 66 year old from Smithton, Pennsylvania. Tough, tough spare conversion here. Yes, he'd be wise just to go for the eight pin. That's what he's going to do. Nine out in the first for Yanella. So after one frame, Wyant was about the only one that didn't have the, the jitters here to start the thing. Right. He, the only mark of the first frame. Here's his partner, Rick Graham. <laughs> Southpaw delivers an alley five. High hit, leaves a 6-10. Graham and Wyant qualified Friday evening here. The way the tournament was set up, the high, high qualifying team from Friday night automatically was seated into the finals, and that's how they received their number five bid. Quickly up on alley four, seven counts for Hazy. Graham spare shot, he converts. Looks like they're speeding things up a little bit here. They're going to alternate bowling. This is new for all of us. We're all sure none of these people here have ever been on TV before, and we appreciate Benango Video coming in today and be able to show this on a tape delay basis to all of you viewers out there in Benango County. Wyant shot. A little light, but it'll count. 
Leads the five pin. Counts as a strike. That's right. Any nine counts are, are the same as a strike in a no tap tournament. Come on, Dominic. I hit six seven split. Cianello's second split in two frames. He's going to make an adjustment. The scores were were great here earlier today, Ed, in the qualifying sessions. There was some big scores shot. We'll run down later a list of the 300s that were shot in this weekend event here. Nine out. 18 through two frames for Yanella. Wyatt and Graham with the early lead. It's interesting, Wyatt and Gra Graham are both southpaws, Quail. I'm not sure how many left-handers are in the finals, but mm -hmm. it's kind of odd to have two on the same team. Graham shot. Light, Light hit, hit and it carries them all. <laughs> nice crowd on hand here today for the first annual tournament. Had a total of 70 teams entered. Not bad for first try. Easy comes up high and leaves Double wood. Double wood. Hazy's nickname is Bobo and he's from Jacobs Creek, Pennsylvania. Lance shot, he's going to go to the different side, but it's good enough for a strike. Here's the five pin. Three in a row for Craig Lyon. Hazy spare shot, he converts. 27 through two for Hazy and a spare up in the third. Proprietor here at Diamond Bull, Johnny Ursin has added a, another feature. Anybody that throws a 300 game, no tap or natural on our telecast today will receive a free Diamond Bull jacket. And Wyatt's on pace to get one of those if he does it nine more times. And now All right. mixes them up. Maybe he made the proper adjustment after coming up high the first two frames. Made the adjustment and carried that late hit. Yanello's hobby is watching pro bowling on TV, so I'm sure he's seen John Hersena Sr. a few times on Speaking of John Sr., he's here as our statistician today. Good to see him. Graham, that'll count. Brooklyn shot. Double for Graham. Wyatt and Graham with the early lead. Very hazy. <laughs> hazy can then lighten he carry. First strike for Barry. Wyatt working on a three bagger. Drop that ball, but it, he still carries. Good ball for Craig. First four. Why well, it's an employee of Kmart. One of our fine local department stores here that understand they're going to be relocating here in the future. And now another, with another high hit. And that's three splits through four frames for Dawn. The winner of this match will go on to face a couple Franklin residents, a father-son team, Don Harbaugh Sr. and his son Jeff. That'll be our second match, followed by Paul Bubnash and John Krasonic in the semifinals, and then a top-seeded duo, Ollie Dillon and Walt Hunt. Chops a three off the ten. So right now, after four frames, it looks like Graham and, and Wyan have a commanding lead, considering they have 37 pins worth of handicap to work with. They're a little more familiar with the conditions here. They bull here in a league regular where the other two are from out of town. So Graham comes up with a washout. One, three, seven. Pretty tough spare to convert here, huh, Dale? Yes, it is. He'll want to go to the right-hand side of the head pin and slide it Hazy into the Hazy just banged one on number five. Good ball by Barry. Hazy two in a row? Graham gets it a shot. Graham played it safe. With the lead, that might have been a good move. He's got 83 through five. Up on alley five, Don Yanello. Trying to figure things out here. It looks like a better shot. Yes. That good one was right Yanello. there, Dale. Now on alley four, Craig Warner. Working on the first four. 
Looks like another good shot. There's Craig's got to figure it out. He's got three five pins, but hey, in this no tap format, that's not a bad shot right there. You know what? Wyatt's high game in regular bowling is 268, but he's looking pretty good here. Yes, he is. Possible Graham up on five. Light again. Leads to three five six. Rick carries an average of 190 here in the Frank Friday night industrial league in Franklin. As Ed mentioned earlier, recently threw a 298 game in league play. Hazy shot on alley four. Perfect. He looks locked in right now. Three natural strikes in a row. Yes, he is. Graham's delivery. Covers the spare. Damianello up now on alley four. He's had two splits in this lane so far. We'll see if he can make the proper adjustment. Gonna go Brooklyn. And he carries it. Christian Brooklyn for a double for Yanello. So through six, Yanello's had three strikes and three splits. Here's Wyan again. Great shot. Oh, he come up high. This time. But it was a good run. Yes, it was. So four Rick. six, and that's a tough one. Here's his partner, Rick Graham, up here. That Graham's shot. Leads a two-seven baby split. Uh, Lines delivery, don't want to get one. Good idea by Craig. Lion the leader out of the foursome. He's got 147 through six frames. <laughs> Looks like Hazy and Yanella are making a little bit of a run now. Could tighten up quicker. All right. Nice conversion there. Good shot. Rick likes to woodwork and he works for the Esplenda Tree Company. Esplenda Tree Company, so working with wood. Is a natural, and John Arsena Sr. is his favorite baller. Hazy shot, that'll count. Very hazy, four in a row. Pin. Four in a row for Hazy. Things tightening up considerably here. Steve Blank can come back after that split shot in the sixth frame. Craig up in the seventh. Gonna go to the other side. That'll count. Craig's wife Brenda's here today. And there's 10-year-old son, Robert. Manello shot on five. Ooh, up a little high, seven pin wiggles, and it's gonna stand. Six, seven, 10 split for Manello. This is a culmination of a three-day qualifying tournament that started Friday night. Quail, do you wanna tell us how Wyant and Graham made it into the finals? Uh, yes, to draw. Yanello misses everything. To draw a few more entries into Friday night, uh, tournament director John Arsena Jr. Uh, put, put in a stipulation that the high qualifying team from Friday night would automatically receive an automatic berth in today's stepladder finals. And strategy worked well. He had a full squad on Friday night. Graham and Wyan emerged as the top qualifiers. Leaves the bucket. 117 through seven. Rick Graham up here in the eight. He and partner Craig Wine still hold a slight lead. Very hazy on alley four. Come on, Barry. Hazy can get right in a good working ball. Five bagger for Hazy. 137 through six. And a double working. Graham spare shot. That's a big pick up there for Graham. Keeping in mind our handicap format here, Hazy and Yanella will receive 20 bonus pins at the end of the game. So this one's too close to call right now. Excellent match to begin our finals here today. Yanello on alley four. Perfect. <laughs> Yanello's either been right there or yes, he has. been hit no with some between. bad luck. But and in this no tap, the idea is to hit the head pin, but he's been a little high several times and paid the price for it. Why? He looked down, off, he looked down after he, he threw that ball. Approach there. Not a good ball at all for Craig, but we'll see if he can come back. And at least he played it safe I'm and no split. Not sure if the ball maybe slipped out of his hand. As we said, first time nerves. on TV for many of these people, and it's all new to them. So, many of these people never bowl 
for a kind of prize money today. Uh, Coca-Cola was good enough to donate a thousand dollar fee to the prize fund. Both, both Wyatt and Graham have the same. The loser of this match will split three hundred dollars with twelve hundred dollars to be split for the top team after today's tournament. Graham spare shot. Four through eight frames for Graham and a spare up in the ninth. Very hazy with his shot in the ninth. Working on a five bagger. He's red hot right now. Looking good. Very hazy. Yeah. On fire here. He's a 29 year old, as we mentioned, from Jake, Jacobs Creek, and he works at Russell Minerals. Seven through eight for Wyatt, and that strike in the ninth. And here's your memo, working on a strike up in the ninth frame on alley five. A little bite, missed the head pin. Seven count for Yanello, leaving one, two, eight. Once again, the winner of this match will go on to meet our third seeded team of the day, a local father-son duo, Don Harbaugh Sr. and his son Jeff. Janela's attempt at one, two, eight. He covers, covers it nicely. He's set for the count. And every ball could be important here because it could be a pretty tight match here. So. He will lead off. Working on a spare in the ninth. One thirty-four through eight. Rick, we're going to go Brooklyn. And he carries it. 54 through 9. Strike and attempt for Graham. Another one, Rick. See all four players looking over at the, uh, the score sheet over here to our left. They know it's close. Come on, Greg. Come on. Graham, way wide on that shot. Tried it over there again. It's going to be in the 170s, right? Yes, 174 if he converts this opening game for Graham. You get that first win under your belt, do you think the, the nerves will kind of settle down? Yeah, I think that would definitely be a factor. You see that on the regular tour. And the winner of the first match lots of times will go on to win. They just loosen up a little bit, freeze that arm swing up. Here's Hazy's shot. He's working on six in a row. So with his eight pins handicap, Graham finished with a 182. Come up high. The hazy string of six in a row is broke there. He's going to have a nice game. He's going to be in the mid 200s. Yes, he was. Short the 220 game. Watch. Look out. Look out. Shot by Wine just might have been the final nail in the coffin. 222 for Barry with a 26 handicap gives him a 248. Nice game for him. He, he finished or he opened with a with an open and he closed with an open. Wine's second shot in the tenth. Strike. Tell you what, he's come up big when they've needed him. Started off the game, got him off to a good start, and he's finishing it well also. Here's the analog. Been the story for him all his first game here. That's how many splits. So, five splits for Dom, yeah. That could be the telling factor in this opening game. He just never really got on track. Threw a couple nice balls in the middle there, but he's never, never got in that groove. Wyatt's final shot. Strike for crack. Fine game. 247 with a 29 handicap. Gives one at 276. Mello with a nice conversion. Yeah. Oh, I think so. I think so. So here's Yanello in the final ball of the first game here. Yanello's shot. I don't count as a strike. 
155 for the mall. So hope we add these scores up there and we'll give you a four fifty final scores the first time. Wyatt and Graham with a four fifty. Is that right? 457 for Wyatt and Graham, 434 for Hazy and Manella. They won it by a mere, what, 23 pins, <laughs> so it was close. Well, I told you that you got a strike, was determined. We'll be back with game two momentarily. We'll give Don Harbaugh Sr. and Jeff Harbaugh some warm up time, and we'll be back. Yeah. Give me the signal when we're on. Okay, welcome back to game two here in the first annual Diamond Bull Coca-Cola No Tap Doubles Tournament being brought to you today by Venango Video. This will be game two. Winners of our first game, Rick Graham and Craig Wyant facing Don Harbaugh Sr. and his son Jeff Harbaugh. Graham will lead off on alley four. See if Graham and Ryan are a little bit more relaxed this game. He's still a little bit high, a little bit, li or I mean, a little bit light on the, on both alleys here. Here's Don Harbaugh Senior. Harbaugh's first shot. Go count, high oh, hit. Up to ten pin, counts as a strike. Don's been bowling for 25 years and his high game's a 279. Graham spare delivery. Nice shot by Rick. Once again, for you viewers unfamiliar with the no tap format here, a nine count on the first bowl is the same as getting a strike. You simply hit the reset button and it, it counts the same as a strike. Here's Jeff Harbaugh, Don's son. He's 20 years old. His high game's 290. Works at K KFC, Quail. Your favorite All right. Yes, spot. it is. I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Good shot by Jeff. The hard balls come out of the gate quickly. Next up, Craig Wyant. Carries an average of 164 here in the Friday Night Industrial League. And he really carried him in the first game there. Craig shot. Comes up high and leaves a 4 6 split. I think he left that once in the first game, didn't he? Yes, he did. Wyant and Graham, if you weren't with us earlier, defeated a team of uh, Barry Hazy and Dom Yanella. Right. Second shot for Wyant. Takes out the four pins. So nine out in the first frame for Wyant. Had a good turnout for the tournament, Ed. We had doubles teams come in from Conant Lake, Lionsville, PA, Pittsburgh, Erie. Real good turnout for the first venture. Got that, got that six pin to fall and it turned an eight count into a strike. It's a unique format of no tap. Kind of break you need. As long as you're around the head pin, you're going to score pretty well in a no tap tournament. I guess that's true in any tournament, come to think. And the Harbaugh's, the Harbaugh's are. Don playing an outside line and he looks like he's going today. Good shot by Don. Don, an employee of Franklin Steele. Next up on Alley 5, Craig Warren. Warren's delivery. Nope, missed the hit pin again. Leaves like in the, the first one, game. Three, six, nine. Like in the first game, he looked down and immediately after letting go of the ball like it might have slipped or, or maybe stuck at the on the approach there. Shot by Jeff. So that was Jeff solid. And his dad start with two strikes in a row. Grab the early lead here. Spare for one. Good shot. Don Harbaugh Sr. comes in with a scratch handicap, which means that he averages 200. He'll have no handicap. Jeff has a handicap of nine, so they'll receive nine pins at the end of the game, while Wyant and Graham, just like the first game, have 37 between them, so 28 pin advantage. Nice shot by Graham, striking the third. Graham heading over to that Brooklyn side. He's had pretty good luck on that side all day. Yep, that's a double for Rick. Don Harbaugh now in the third frame on alley five. 
Interesting note, the Harbaugh's listed their favorite bowlers. Don Sr. is Dick Weber. And Jeff's is Amleto Monash. Oh, good shot by Don. That kind tells of, you something, Ed, the, the year maybe that they grew up and learned how to, how to bowl this game. Dick Weber's always been one of my favorites. And I've also followed his son, Pete, where Jeff Harbaugh, a younger bowler, of course, kind of the new wave, uh, follows a man like Monticelli. Lions shot, alley four. He's going to try the broken side. At least a seven eight split. Tough break. It's a split you don't see too often. Yeah. He'll uh, move to the right hand side here and try and fit the ball in between a seven and eight. Jeff Harbaugh shot in the third, playing a big wide hook and comes in lightly. He's the eight pin, so that'll be a strike. And Jeff Harbaugh, when he was 10 years old, he finished fourth in the nation in his age group with a 260 game. Good try by Wyatt. Wyatt listed as his greatest bowling achievement as finishing second in a tournament. Well, he's looking to maybe have set a new personal achievement here today with a first place finish. Graham shot. He looked a he looked a lot smoother on that, that shot. His follow through, looks like maybe the nerves are starting to calm a little bit. The winner of this game will go on to the semifinal match and face Paul Bub Nash and John Krasonic, a couple of out of town folks that come in for the weekend, enter this event. Harbaugh's shot, and high and he too leaves a 4-7. So string for Don is gone. Actually, Don's other son, Donnie, uh, threw three 300 games this weekend. That was the most of any any bowler here. Yes, it was. We had a total of uh, seven 300s, Ed. None of them what you call natural 300s. But uh, Tony had three. Mark Williams and Lee Duck, both from Franklin, PA, had one. Ollie Dillon, who we'll see in our final match, had one earlier today. And John Krasonic, who we'll see in our next match, also had one earlier today. So we're looking forward to some real good matches here later on. Harbaugh picked up his spare. Craig Wyant now up on five. Left that five oh, pin, that's a strike. He's been around a head pin all, both games. Jeff Harbaugh now working on three strikes in a row to open the match. Oh, shot, but he went broken also. Four in a row for Jeff. Harbaugh's have the early lead. Once again, running down the, the payout for today. The top team will split $1,200, second place $600, the third place $450. The loser of this match will split $350, and the loser of our first match, which you saw earlier, split $300. So Here's pretty some profitable of the weekend for these fellas. Here's the scoreboard there. Here's Graham. Graham once again coming up high. He's got one coming across. Not going to hit it hard enough. Momentum can really switch in, in the no-tap tournament, can it, Dale? Yes, it can, very quickly. Nice shot for Harbaugh. For many of you women tuning in out there, this was not a men-only men event. Fair shot for Graham. So we're halfway through this second match. We have two more games to follow. As I started to say, Ed, this is not a men's only event. We had quite a few women enter this weekend. It just so happened that none of them were able to qualify for our TV finals here today. We had a few just missed. Tina and Joe Dick yep. just barely missed. Speaking of the Harbaugh family, sister Tina and her husband Joe just barely missed finishing in seventh place. We'll try and run down later for you our top 12 finishers, which we're able to cash this weekend. Wyant shot. Goes high again. He kind of sawed things off there. Leaves a 2 4 8. He'd been carrying pretty well on the Brooklyn side, and that time the ball just seemed to cut right through there and didn't get a whole lot of action. Wyatt's spare shot and. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, he got the lucky break though. Kick off the sideboard there. Nice shot. That's a nice big sign down there, Diamond Bowl, up above the alleys there. Nice 
shot by Graham. That's why we have an opportunity, Ed. I'd like to thank John Erston, a junior, for having us here today. Uh, as we mentioned, Venango Video has been a big help to us. Uh, We're trying like to, to promote thank... bowling a little bit in, yes, we are. in Venango County. It's pretty popular around here. I'd like here. to thank the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, headed up by Dick Hart out of Meadville, Pennsylvania, for help being a big help this weekend also. Hard boss shot, comes up fine, leaves at 6'10". Just a few other people we'd like to acknowledge. Uh, Tom Anderson from TNT Deli, a nice little delicatessen here in Franklin. He's been here all weekend selling his goods. Been a big help to us. Of course, John Sr., John Erson, a senior. Many of you have seen him on the senior tour. His wife Susan's been here all weekend. Many volunteers involved this weekend. Good shot by Don. His goal is to bowl an 800 series. He may get the chance today with three games. Pretty good goal to have. He might have dropped that one. It worked. Oh, good ball. He must throw a heavy ball because it, it seems to have a lot of action on it. He does. Jeff Carball up now working on the first five strikes. Four of them have been what we call natural. He's only he had throws, one tap. He throws a powerful ball. Yes, he does. Hits. Good shot for Jeff. You see the pins jump. He's halfway to a perfect game. Once again, as we mentioned in our first game, anyone that would happen to throw a perfect game on TV here today will receive a free Diamond Bull jacket courtesy of proprietor John Arsena, Jr. Rick Graham up in the seventh frame. It's a pretty good shot, but it's a little light again. He's been there about in that same spot for both games. Just a little, just missing by a little bit. Again, you're getting a shot of our scoreboard here being manned by John Arson, a senior today. Pro John Bowl, Bowl. John Arson. Good shot for Don. He's getting used to the TV cameras on the on the Pro Bowlers tour. Yes, he is. One twenty-six through six and a spare up in the seventh for Graham. The hard balls thus far proved to be too much. They have the lead here through six frames. Jeff Harbaugh working on six. Delivery in the seventh frame coming right in there again. A little high. Good run for Jeff. And the owner, the uh, the director of this tournament, breathes a sigh of relief back here. That free jacket's safe for another game, Johnny. We've got two more games to go, my friend. You notice how Jeff, when they, on his follow through, his one foot comes up and hits it. It's a ball return. That's how much oomph, I guess, he puts on that. Yep. That Jeff's ball. in excellent shape. Wyant shot. Nice delivery. Oh, tough break for Craig. Up to 5'10. That's a kind of. Looked like that ball was going to mix. Yes, it did. He's been leaving just a five pin plate often today on that shot. Didn't get the break this time. a tough spare, but it can be picked up. Slide to five into the ten. It's one out. So through seven frames, one with a score of 104. Quickly up on Alec Five, his partner Rick Graham. They need to get going a little bit there. They're probably trailing here. They need to get a little hot streak going. And a little late again. Rick was kind of struggling this game. As Don Adams on Get Smart used to say, missed it by that much. <laughs> Once again, the winner of this game will go on to face the team of Paul Bubnash and John Krasonic. Rick has seven grandchildren. Fellow doesn't look that old, does he, Ed? Oh. Oh, with a shot like that makes you feel kind of old <laughs> right there. Probably well, feels like he has several more grandchildren at this point. John Harbaugh Sr. up working on a strike in the seventh, <laughs> but in the eighth frame here. That one got away a little bit. Looks like Don might have rushed the line there just a little bit. The ball just never made it back. Not a bad shot, especially when you're in the lead. 
Should be a routine spare for Dawn. How many legs do you think Dawn bowls in? I, I, I think Dawn bowls least. about three nights a week, Eddie. Yeah, Works a swing shift, I believe, over at Franklin Steel, and he's in, involved in a Tuesday morning leg out at Seneca, and then he bowls a couple nights here at Diamond Bowl during the week. Smooth. smooth. A smooth bowler. Yes, he is. 157 through 7, and a spare up in the 8 for Don Harbaugh Sr. Up on alley 5 now, Craig Wine. Looks like a good shot for Craig. Yes, yep. he got that one out on the lane a little bit. That was a nice shot. Take a look at the scores here again. As compiled by John Herson, a senior. Let's see there, Graham with a 152. Nice shot for Jeff. He zeroed in. Wyatt with a 104 and a seventh with a strikeout. Talking with the Harbaugh's before we started action today, Ed, uh, they bowled yesterday together and were right in the hunt. Jeff was down viewing the action this morning and he went home to get his dad. He said, we better get back down there. The scores are high today and we're not going to make it. So they just qualified about an hour earlier before the top. Nice shot. Straight by Graham. Yeah, that, that was another unique part of this uh, tournament. That you could get in as many times as you wanted. If you felt like your score wouldn't hold up, you could come back and, right. and try again. And in the Harbaugh's case, it sure paid off because they probably wouldn't have made it. That's right. I guess, I guess that's an advantage of being local. Yes, it is. Well. I know there was uh, a squad from Pittsburgh up this morning, and they signed up to bowl the two ships today. I think this is an event that could just get, get bigger. It's a good weekend to have it. A lot of out-of-town people in for hunting season, which starts tomorrow, the first day of buck season. Craig shot. That'll count. I hit. Lose a seven. It's a strike and a ninth for one. Double for him. Next up will be Jeff Harbaugh. It looks like the Harbaugh's have a, a pretty comfortable lead, but... Wyan both with strikes in the ninth, so anything's still possible here. That's right, they set their foundation frames up nicely, but the Harbaugh's can match them if Jeff comes through here. Nice shot, he does. Jeff. Well, those pins jumps when he hits them. Working in the 278 pace if he could string three more in a tenth. Tenth frame for Graham. Rick with a score of 152 in the eighth and a strike up here in the ninth. The tenth frame's when Graham... And, well, and Wyatt won with them the first game. Yes, it is. They proved they could do it. All right, good break for Rick. With a high hit. Lose a seven pin, but once again in this no tap tournament, that counts as a strike. Quickly up on alley four now, Don Harbaugh Sr. Graham can finish with a 212. Graham's up on five. That was there. Nice shot for Rick. Maybe a little bit too little too late for Rick, but it looks like he's finally found that line now. We had mentioned about him coming up a little late, but now he's starting to bury it right in there. Harbaugh's second shot in a tenth. A little light, at least a two, four, five. Graham trying to close out with a big bang here. At 212, he's looking at a little bit light. 209 for Rick Graham. Again. 209, then you tack on the eight pins handicap, and it's a 217. So he improved on his first game. Harbaugh's spare shot, nice cover. 225 for Don Harbaugh. I'm not sure the Harbaugh's have had an open this whole game, have they? Yeah, they haven't. They've been clean clear through, Ed. Don converted three spares that he left, and Jeff's only had to shoot one spare thus far. That'll win you some, some tournaments. Yes, it will. If you can do that. Wyatt, up in the 
eight. Double working for Craig, so he's got a possible 224 game. 194, excuse me, Ed. Go 194 with three strikes. Yep, once again, right in there. Hey, he doesn't look bothered by by anything out there. He only thrown one errant shot thus far. Of course, I guess when you're bowling in a national term at age 10. Wyant's been perfect in both games in the tenth frame. Four ball with the second delivery in the tenth. Nice shot for Jeff. One more for a fine 278. What a bad start for Jeff Harbaugh. Don Harbaugh Sr. finished with a 225. Bryant closes with a bang and he'll end up with a 194. Tack on the 29 pins handicap. He's looking at a 230 or 223. 223, so that's a score of 430 for the team of Bryant Graham. 440. 440. And Harbaugh strikes out for a 278. That's a nice game. 287. 5-12 for the Harbaugh's, so they will go on to our semifinal match against Paul Burnash and John Crisani. Fine exhibition for the Harbaugh's. We'll be back with that semifinal game in just a moment. Okay, welcome back, Benango County, to the first annual Diamond Bowl Coca-Cola No Tap Doubles Tournament. This is a semifinal match featuring Don Harbaugh Sr. up on Alley 4 here and his son Jeff Harbaugh against Paul Bubnash and John Crisonic. Got a special guest here in the booth we're going to be talking to momentarily. Harbaugh's shot comes up high, leaves a 6 10. Okay, currently in the booth here is longtime area athletic supporter, Mr. Harry Hap Rawman. How you doing today, Hap? Pretty good. Good. It's been a nice tournament. Enjoyed it a lot. Good. We noticed you were here about every shift enjoying the action and 
Good shot there in the first. Paul Bubnatch, nice shot. So you like like the tournament? Did you have a good weekend? Oh, enjoyed it. Been up good. here all, missed one station, that's all. Good. We know many, our boss spares in the first. We know many of you people out throughout Venango County have seen half, but many football, basketball, you name it. If it's a sporting event, Mr. Rahman is there, that's for sure. Last spring, he followed the Cranberry girls team clear to the state finals in Hershey, Pennsylvania, wrote an excellent letter to the News Herald Sports Department. Nice shot. So this team comes out of the gate quickly. For Sonic and Bub Nash, both with strikes in the first. Now up in the first, Jeff Harbaugh. Got some smooth bowlers out there, Dale. They make it look easy, don't they, Hal? Well, they sure do. Nice shot for Jeff. So the match is on. Looks like an excellent match up here. Our semi-final match. Well, half we want to thank you for stopping by, and we'll send you back now to enjoy the action. And we'll yeah, see you. Basketball season's gearing up, so we'll I have to go you. finish my hot dog. Okay, <laughs> good to see you. Later. Okay. What a nice man. Yes, he is. I bowl with him on Monday nights here, and half still carries a fine, fine average. All right, good break for going. A lot of carry on that ball there. Here's Bub Nash. He's a 61 year old from Periopolis, Pennsylvania. A five leaves a 6'10. He's bowling for 38 years and nearly had a perfect game one time. He had a 299. Boy. He's retired. He has a wife, Jean, and a daughter, Kathy. And Earl Anthony's his favorite bowler. Mm -hmm. Good guy to pat on yourself after, that's for sure. Nice spare from Bub Nash. So he opens with a strike and spare. Now up on alley five, Jeff Harbaugh. Fine crowd on here today, Ed. I'm glad to see so many people show up to this. Had a good a crowd of, throughout the weekend. A lot of bowlers have waited around. They're, they're kind of excited. It, you know, good shot it's on Jeff. television and you know, they, they want to see how it goes. and it, Seems like they are, they're all enjoying themselves. Here's another southpaw up here, this Chrisonic. He really nice extends shot. himself. Being a lefty yourself, Ed, I know you like to see all this left-handed action yeah. out here, huh? Up on Chrisonic. Old Bub Nash, now in the third frame. Shot right in there. Oh, this could be a real barn burner here. Some high scores. Considering that uh, Bub Nash comes in with a handicap of 22, Ed, and Chrisonic was 16, so that'll be a 38 handicap, whereas the Harbaugh's have just a 9 handicap, so they've got a little ground to make up. Don shot. Perfect. Double for Harbaugh. Representing DeLong Printing here today. I'm not sure if our cameras are able to pick his hat up, but... Uh, his, but he works at Franklin Steel. Yes, his son uh, Donnie is married to Heidi DeLong from DeLong Printing. So they're in the audience here also today. Sonic, he really he extends himself. His nickname's Foo. And he's 38 from West Newton. He's been bowling for 15 years and he has bowled a 300 game. There's an average of 180, and I'll tell you, the looks at his first three deliveries, I, I thought he averaged a lot more than that, even. Nice shot for Jeff. He opens with three natural strikes. The match is on. Harbaugh, Jeff, and John Crisonic both have three in a row. Whereas Harbaugh Sr. and Bob Nash open with a spare and two strikes in a row. Crisonic's fiance, Milana Chiarardo, is in the audience today. And I think she bowled in the tournament too. Yes, I believe she did. Sonic threw a 300 here this morning. Good shot for Bob Nash. Double for him. Once again, many <laughs> of you may be just tuning in. A no tap tournament such as this. If you get nine pins on your first ball, it's the same as a strike. You simply hit the automatic reset button and take a seat. It counts as a strike. Don Harbaugh up here in the fourth frame. Looks like a good delivery. Oh, he's in a little late. Leaves a 5-7 split. That ball didn't look that bad. No, it didn't. It just didn't seem to drive like like his other balls in the 
previous game. He'll try and go to the right of the five pin here and slide it over into the seven to convert this split. I'd like to thank many of our volunteer scorekeepers here this weekend, Ed. Their efforts were greatly appreciated by John and everyone here at Diamond Bowl. Oh, yeah, just, just missed. missed. Good effort. Talking about Don Harbaugh, he confided in me a year or so ago that he wouldn't mind trying the, the Pro Bowlers Tour here. He's 49. I think you have to be 50 to get on the Seniors Tour. Yes, that's right. And I know he's, he's talked to John or Senna here about uh, maybe entering that tour at a later stage. So you're Chris looking Sonic. at a very fine bowler. And there's Chrisonic, who's been perfect. Four in a row. Those are all natural strikes. Yes, they you? are. Natural strike, of course, meaning that you get all 10 on the first ball. You don't need Chris to use the no-tap system. Chrisonic bowled on channel 22 in Pittsburgh and finished second. He too opens with four strikes in a row in this semifinal match. The winner of this will go on to face our top seeded pair of the day, Ollie Dillon from Conant Lake, Pennsylvania, and his partner Walt Hunt from Lionsville. Yeah. So Jeff Harbaugh and Chrisonic have kind of neutralized each other here. It's come down to Don Harbaugh and, and Bub Nash. Harbaugh's shot going to try to put aside. A little smile there for Don. A little wry smile, huh? Not exactly where he wanted it, but he'll take it. The result's the same. Looks good on paper, Ed. A little bit light. Once again, we'd like to thank Fenango Video for being a part of this today. Without them, we certainly couldn't have put this event on. Uh, our technical director here today is Keith Smith, along with cameraman John Sustak, and we really appreciate giving up their Sunday afternoon to come down here and be with us today. One out in the fifth for Bub Nash. So the Harbaugh's maybe eating into that uh, handicap, handicap that they're giving away here. Yes, they have 29 pins to make up. Halfway through this semifinal match. I guess it's 39 pins they have to make up. Is that right? Oh, no, you're right. You're correct. Jeffing, uh, fifth, keeps the string going. Once again, as we've had several opportunities here today for that 300 game on TV here. John Arsena Jr. has agreed to give away a Diamond Bull jacket to anyone that's able to shoot 300 here today. We've got two guys going after it here in this game. There's Krasonic shot in the fifth. Once again, he's there, down on the knee, and yes, he carries it. I don't know if John's got two jackets to give away. But... For those of you that haven't been in the Diamond Bull recently, John's put a lot of work into the establishment here. Recently carpeted the bowlers area. Did some interior remodeling and Bub Nash really in great shape. Bub Nash gets a strike, leaving just the 10 pin. Came up a little high, but he, he got enough to carry to get nine of them down, and that's as good as a strike in this yes, tournament. It is. John Harbaugh up in the sixth. Getting back to the remodeling end of Diamond Bull here. For those of you maybe looking for something to do in a weekend, uh, stop in and visit John. He'd love to see you and maybe get back into this game of bowling if you've been away for a while. And I would say he's got a, an outgoing personality or uh, yes, an does. eccentric personality. Very personal young man that we've got to know over the years here. A fine bowler in his own right. Here's the score sheet again. You can see that Jeff Harbaugh and Chrisonic have been perfect. That may be the first open frame in two games for the Harbaugh. Don't right split there. earlier, Eddie. Left that five, seven earlier. But That's right. You're right. They bowled so, very well today. Chrisonic looking for a sixth in a row. And they've all been natural strikes. That looks good, too. He's halfway there to a diamond bowl jacket. Something I'm sure he'll treasure down there in Newton, Pennsylvania. West Newton. Jeff Harbaugh. Two working on a perfect game. He's there again. He's 
two are putting on a real show here. And the crowd's getting into it now. I think they, they realize what they're seeing some good bowling here. We'd like to call Johnny in here for just a minute and maybe have him go over uh, how he set the lanes up today and condition him. There's been some great scores here today, Johnny. What kind of condition we got out there today? Oh, we just got a little bit of build up in there between uh, the nine board and on the right, the nine board on the left. A little bit of heavy oil gutter to gutter from uh, the foul line to just about the arrows there. It's some back ends are stripped dry where it makes it nice scoring conditions. Okay, very good. Bub Nash up into seventh. Right in there, first strike. Double for Bub Nash. Next up's Jeff Harbaugh. Here come the two striking machines here. Yep. Both halfway to that perfect game. Takes a deep breath. It's quiet here. Good lift on the ball. Oh, high. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Jeff right in there. Counterpart John Krasonic up now in his seventh frame. We'll see if he can counter that shot. Good extension. four minutes, young man. It'll work. Right. It'll come. It's not a natural 300 now, but at least he's still still on course. You see John back here scrambling to find two jackets. Sizing him up as he head. Yep. Bob Nash up in the eighth frame. Fast pace game here. When you're striking, it doesn't take. There's another one right in there. Good, good sportsmanship down there too. It looks like both teams, you know, they're looks congratulating each other. And a 52 like pin edge right now, Ed, for the team of Bub Nash and Personic. Pretty easy to figure this game up with two perfect games and the, the handicap figured in. So the Harbaugh's have some work to do here in the last three frames. Dawn's delivery on alley five. Warshaft, one, two, four, ten. You want to get the ball to the left of the head pin and slide. The head pin over in and knock the 10 out and let the ball take out the 2 4. It's going to come down to uh, will of nerves here in these last couple of frames. I mean, with all these strikes, one, or, one ball here or there could really turn the momentum. Oh, nice try for going. 130 through 8 for Don Hardwell Sr. When this game will go on to our final match against the team of Ollie Dillon and Walt Hunt. The loser, losers will split $450. A little high that time, but he got a good break there. And that's eight, eight in a row. Jeff Harbaugh up now in the eight. He too perfect. Two thirds of the way there, and Just so yeah. is Jeff Harbaugh. And the match is indeed on as we move to the ninth frame. And we kind of assumed that it was going to come down to Don Harbaugh against Bub Nash, and that's pretty much what it's boiled down to. Those All handicap right. pins could really come into play in this game. It's what it could be decided by. Good point, Ed. There's the score sheet again. Don shot. A little high again. There's a four seven. So he struggled here the last couple of frames. Nevertheless, it's been a fine weekend. Nice Man. shot tonight for Bob Nash. That's three in a row. He's, he's come up. In a row for him. He's come up big here. The end. Just might have been a final blow here for the Harbaugh's there. Yep, Don missed the 4 7. Tough break. It bowled really well, though, to come out here this morning and just qualify again. Here's Personic shot in the ninth. Once again, he's got the first eight. Good lift, good delivery. Coming up high. You could hear him. You could yep. hear him. Didn't like that as soon as he left go, Ed. Big John back here just 
breeze, another big sigh of relief. Here's Harbaugh right here. Gave it a little extra that time, and it'll work. Crowd's really getting behind him now, and Chrisonic's got a little split over here. And this could be important. He chopped it. For what looked like disaster just a few seconds ago, suddenly he's turned around. 236 through 9 for Chrisonic. They're still in the driver's seat, but just a glimmer of hope left for the hard boss here. Here's Bob Nash's shot as he leads off the 10th. Up high, but it'll work. Leaves a three pin. How close that was to a split. That shot right there wrapped it up, Ed, so we're going to have an all out of town final in our first annual Diamond Bull Coca Cola No Tap Double Tournament. The team of Paul Bob Nash and John Crisonic are going to go on and face Holly Dillon and Walt Hunt in our final match. But it was good to see we had two two local teams in the finals. That, and they, they made a good showing. They each went one and one. Yes. That's right. In case you missed our earlier action, the team of uh, Craig Wyatt and Rick Graham from Franklin finished fourth place. Eight count for Bob Nash. With the conversion here, he'll finish with a score of 234. Along with his 22 pins handicap, he'll be in the 250s. Dawn finishes. He's going to be in the 150s, and he'll be the first one to tell you he's disappointed in his performance in this game. But once again, a fine showing this weekend for the Harbaugh family. Bub Nash closes it out with a strong 234. 234 for Tack on the 22 handicap and a 256 is a nice score. Because his partner's going to be right up in that area too. Probably a little higher. Harbaugh. 58 for Don Harbaugh. Harbaugh spares out. Of course, being a 200 bowler, he has no handicap, so it's a little tougher. John Krishonic up here in the tent. Little light left with a 6'9 spare. With this, in his final ball in the 10th, he could be in the 250s. Fine game for Krasonic. High uh, shot. Tough break. No jackets giving away this game. But a good run by Jeff, nine in a row. Still be in the 250s, Ed. Like Chrisonic's going to be in the 250s as well. Yes, he is. Jeff throws that one in the channel. Still a fine game for Jeff Harbaugh. 261 and add on his nine pins gives him a fine 270 game. We'll close them out at 428 as a team. Bob Nash and Chrisonic are over that already, so they will indeed go on. Final match. Two two for John Crisson. Fine effort. Uh, 268 with the handicap there, Quill. Sets the stage for our final match. Ollie Dillon and Walt Hunt, the top seed, will face Paul Bub Nash and John Crisson. We'll be back with that final game action right after this.
Okay, before we start before we start final game action here, we'd like to run down the rest of the cashers this weekend. Finishing in sixth place was Paul Bubnash and partner Tom Yanello. They took home two hundred and fifty dollars. Husband wife team of Joe and Tina Dick from Franklin, Pennsylvania took home $175. Barry Hazy and Pete Hazy split $125 for an eighth place finish. Lee Duck and Dave Young, ninth place with $100. Brian Marcellus and Doug Williams were in 10th place, and they also split $100. In 11th place was a team that just lost and finished third place also. They made another $75. That was Don Harbaugh Sr. and Jeff Harbaugh. And in 12th place, the final cashing spot, also from Franklin, was Don Harbaugh Jr. and Dan Cox. They split $75. In case you missed our earlier action today, in game one, it was Franklin Knights' Craig Wyant and Rick Graham defe defeating Barry Hazy and Dom Yanello. So Hazy and Yanello finished fifth. Wyant and Graham went on to face Don and Jeff Harbaugh. The Harbaugh's were victorious in that second game. So Wyant and Graham finished in fourth place. And in third place, the match you just saw, the team of Paul Bub Nash and John Krasonic defeated the Harbaugh's to set up our final match today. You can still see some of the players down there practicing there, Quail. That's Ollie Dillon from Meadville smell, there. Yeah. 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 I guess that wasn't a practice shot. That was the start of the match right match. here. Yes. Yeah. That was a pretty good shot, too. All the way come out of the gate. Well, here's Bub Nash. Yeah. Perfect shot. Yeah. Handicaps for this game, Ed. Uh, Ollie Dillon with a handicap of five and his partner, Walt Hunt, with eight. So that'll give them 13 pins. Uh, it'll be a total of 38 for Bub Nash and Crisani. So they've got some work to do. The top seeded duo of Ollie Dillon and Walt Hunt. And this is Walt. He's 53 from Linesville. And he's bowled a 300 game in his career. Perfect shot. In fact, he's bowled four 300 games. He nearly had one this morning, yet he had a natural 298. He started a game with first 11 and left two pins on his final shot, and all 11 balls were natural strikes. Crisonic. Right in there. So the match what is a on. start. The match is on. These four guys have bowled many tournaments. I, I know all the way Dylan from uh, playing softball against him. In fact, uh, 39 years old from Conant Lake, and he's still playing baseball, he was telling us before the telecast began today. Bob right Nash. Five balls, five strikes. Ollie likes to go by Glenn Dillon when he's bowling. His father is also a bowler and it's named Ollie. That's too bad you guys fall apart that Glenn, game. Glenn while he's bowling and Ollie when he plays baseball or softball. Still plays baseball at age 39. Brooklyn, but I'm sure he'll take it. He's not a bad bowler either. He's had a 299 for his high game and an 832 series. Married with one daughter, Aaron. Here's Chrisonic's shot. Right in there. Right. Right. Everybody's still perfect. In case you're just tuning in, this is the final match of our first annual here, Diamond Bull Coca-Cola Handicap No Doubles Tournament, along with Ed Brannon, I'm Dale Klingensmith, and we're pleased to have you with us. Walter Hunt, one of his greatest bowling achievements, Quail. Back-to-back -back 300 games. Oh, my. He's got a shot at one here. Chris Sonic, by the way, has two 300 games in his career. After two frames, everybody's still perfect. Dylan shot in the third. Good right shot. Ooh, what a barn burner final here. Top seeded duo of Dylan and Hunt, though, are going to have to hope for an opening here somewhere because they've got 25 pins to make up with the handicap format here. 
Oh, oh my. Oh. Bud Mash right there. Putting on a show for the fans. Walter Hunt single. Favorite bowler is Brian Voss. His goal in bowling is a 900 series. Oh, Glenn Allison style, huh? Oh, he's had back to back 300, really? so. He was two thirds of the way there one night, huh? Yep. John for Sonic up here in the third frame. See if he can keep it going. Nice delivery. A little light. A little bit of light. It's our first non-strike we've had in this match. That's the way you want it, though. You want your finals to be your best competition. And so far, this, this game has certainly been the best of the They're of sure the proving lot. it was no fluke to get here, that's for sure, Ed. The action here is great. A little high, but he Bob carries Nash. it. Good break for Bub Nash. Four straight for Bub Nash. Here's his partner, Chris Sonic. Works for the Union Corporation for Penn Installation. Oh, mm. up to sleeper nine, Penn. Nine out for Chrisonic in the third. Gives him a score of 56. So the first opening of the match here. See if Dylan and Hunt can take advantage. And that could be that handicap made up right there. So maybe now we're starting even Steven again. Dylan up in the fourth. Coming in high. Yeah. Got a break. Wait for the strike. Spin and I'm sure he'll take it. Ollie was telling us before the, the match here that while he bowls right-handed, he plays baseball left-handed, throws and bats both left-handed. Swings a golf left-handed, yes. But everything else he does right-handed, so he's pretty ambidextrous there. Sonic shot. Good carry on that Bounced shot. back well after that open. Winner of this match will split the top prize money of twelve hundred dollars. That's good day's work for these fellas. Waltz oh. right there. Thirty-four years he's been bowling. just decided to enter this event last night. Hunt was telling me, gave all a call about 10.30 last night, so let's ride down to Franklin tomorrow and see how we can do. And here they are in the final match. First time Dylan's ever been in this bowling center. Good form. Perfect. I wonder if John's got three jackets. Oh, we might need three. There's another one getting fitted up right there, Paul Bubnash. I'll tell you, these guys don't even look nervous. Yeah, and this don't. is for $1,200. Yes, it is. They're, they're experienced players. You can tell that, Ed, just by their form. They've got good arm swings, and they're not. This is as good as it gets right here. Really focused when they get up there, that approach. Hunting the fifth. Perfect. Oh, my. Four bowlers in the final match yet have started it with five strikes in a row. Here's the only one that hasn't, and he's a, he's got what four strikes out of he's the got three out of four. Three of four. This is his fifth here. Sonic's delivery in the fifth. Yes, late hit carries again. Wow. The great majority of the strikes have also been natural strikes. They haven't needed a format. 19 of the 20 frames have been strikes. Amazing. Or what amounts to strikes. Right. <clears throat> 20 of 21. This is going to be great for this tournament, I think. These fellas are going to go back to their hometowns, their home bowling establishments, and spread the word about the conditions here. And I think next year this could be even a bigger and better event than it was this year, Ed. I agree. Our tournament director over here, John Arsena, just smiling. He loves to see good bowling as well. Dylan's delivery in the six. A little light. And light. No. He knew when he let it go, he was going to need some help. Two, eight, ten. Very difficult split for Dylan. What would you do here to pick this up? Uh, he's throw it hard. To, 
Yeah, just throw hard Ed and hope he can bounce with either the two or eight pin off the back there and over into the 10. Nearly impossible shot. He'll give it a try. After just the two. The, oh, nearly did it. Pin jumped up behind that 10 there and almost bounced far enough back to knock it over. But. Nine out in the sixth. Gives Dylan a score of 145 through six. Meanwhile, John Personic up in his sixth crane, working on a double. Delivers, looks like a good shot. Dan Light, yes, he's got that shot down perfect. Three times in a row now, Ed, that he's come in life and been able to sweep all 10 into the deck. Walt Hunt up now, working on a perfect game. Sixth frame. Hunt's delivery, and he is smooth. He might, yes, he carries it. it. Halfway there. I'll tell you what, the, uh, the elderly gentlemen on the two teams are carrying them right here. Yes, Bob Nash is 61 and Hunt's 53. Maybe there's hope for me yet, Ed. At one time, Quayle, we know you were the pound for pound, the best <laughs> bowler in Venango County. <laughs> oh, Dylan? Yes, nice shot by all of us. He rebounded nicely after his open frame. Bob Nash up now, and he too is halfway to that perfect game in that diamond bull jacket. Looks like a good shot, a little high. But it'll go work. Out. There's a three pin. He'll take it. First seven for Bob Nash. Now up quickly on Alley five. Won't I'm not, hunt. I'm not sure, but it, would the uh, first place finishers get an automatic invite next year? Or? That's possible. Not we haven't sure. discussed that with uh, John, but that. Uh, very well could be, Ed. High hit. No, he didn't get such a break. Six ten conversion left here for Hunt in the seventh frame. He and Ollie Dillon as part of the top seeds today have a slight edge through seven frames of action. Chrisonic shot. Perfect. Sonic has six out of seven strikes, and they've all been natural strikes. Hunt going after the 6-10 here. Sent it a little wide, covered it. Nice shot by Walt. Next up will be Ollie Dillon. What was out of Connaught Lake, and he also told me before action that he goes into Eastern Ohio one night a week for a Lake over there, they have a team from the Meadville Connie Lake area that goes over there once a week and bowls over there. So the man's experienced. Nice shot by Ollie. Double for Dylan. I just chatted with John here, and uh, the winners won't get an invitation to come back and defend their title. They'll just get their $1,200. And okay. I wouldn't know why they wouldn't come want back to come back, though. I'm sure they'll be back next year. Bob Nash still perfect. <laughs> Through seven, through eight. They've all been natural strikes. Bub Nash is high game for his career is 299, so he's very capable. Oh, he's been there before, as have all four of these players. Old Hunt up here in the eight. Good lift on the ball. I mean, high, but he'll take it. Even that six pin means it's a strike. That's where the old no tap format really, really bails you out sometimes. Yes, it does. Sonic now working on four in a row. Up in his eighth frame. Big shot for Sonic right here. Goes high and he didn't get such a break. Leaves a two seven baby split. Hey, th this is going to be tight. So once again, Dylan and Hunt have a handicap of 13. While Bub Nash and Personic with 38, so a 25 pin advantage right off the top for Bub Nash and Personic. It's going to come right down to the wire. There's Bub Nash. That's nine. His natural 300's done, but I think there's consolation in taking a 300 the other way. No shame in that at all. A big conversion by Personic.
Dylan up here in the ninth now, working on a double. 145 through six. His partner Hunt, 188 through seven, working on a strike. Well, you'd think there'd be all kinds of pressure on these guys, but they're just handling it so well. Dylan's delivery. Right in there, perfect shot for all of them. Sonic up in the ninth now on alley four. One bad ball from here on out could be the difference. Nice That's shot. Nice. Right in there. 184 through eight for Chrisonic and a strike in the ninth. Here's Walt Hunt up in the ninth working on a strike. <laughs> Good form. Yeah. He'll well, take it. At least a 10 10 that it goes that's, where that, that, that's exactly why they call it a no tap tournament right there. If you're a regular bull, and that, that's what they call the tap. That's so a good ball, and you know, you're, the corner pins still stand. It's Dylan up leading off the 10th, working on three strikes in a row. Nice ball. Oh, he zeroed in. in. Yes, he is. He's really on right now. 265 possible in with all going all the way here. This is Bub Nash going going for the jacket. <laughs> and a lot more. Bub Nash in the tenth. Working on nine in a row. Looks like a good shot, Ed. It is ten. Nine out of the ten have been natural strikes. Dylan up. People in the crowd getting really Second delivery into. here. It's in a little high, all he does and leads to 6-10. So with this conversion, he'll have a 253 along with his five pins handicap. 258. Bob Nash going for number 11. He's in there. Yes, he carries it. Johnny, I think you better get him fitted up. He's going for the jacket. He wants the jacket. Cool as a cucumber down there. Dylan closes. 253 for Dylan. 253 and his five pins handicap giving him a 258. The story now is right here. Paul Bubnash. A jacket. Bubnash oh, for the perfect game. Here he is. With him. He's there. Perfect game for Paul Bubnash. All but the ninth one, Ed, were natural strikes. 300 game for Paul Bubnash. That is something. And that especially in the final. The <laughs> 22 pins handicap to boot, so 322 game. And there's Walt Hunt. They're not quitting. <laughs> He's got 278 possible, Ed. I don't think this is over yet, is it? I mean, you still got Chrisonic in there. Yes, that's true. Now, if he opens or something strange would happen, here he goes. Chrisonic with his shot. That ought there. to do it. That's a double there. Yep. I'll tell you. Clutch shot from Mr. Chrisonic right there. He definitely saved the best for last. Here's Hunt again, and he's, he's had eight out of ten natural strikes this game. He shot one spare. Got tapped one time, so he's working on a heck of a game himself. Hunt's second delivery in a tenth. Comes in high and leaves a six ten. The conversion here, though, he'll finish with a five two sixty six game and tack on eight pins handicap. We'll give him a two seventy four. Chrisonic second shot. Yes, that late hit that he's carried so often this game. Gives him two fourteen in the ninth. So he's got a possible 244. Back on six, six imagine, pins handicap there. Can you imagine Quail hunting Dylan oh. out of 22 balls? They had 18 strikes, and they're going to lose. Oh, my. 266 for Walt Hunt. Gives him a 274 with his handicap. That would have been the high score of the day. Oh, by far. 532. Five, so Sonic's going to 244. 
Unbelievable. He's in the 260 with his handicap. 592 to 532 final. Congratulations to Paul Bubnash and John Krasonic for being the winners of our first annual Diamond Bull Coca-Cola Handicap No Tap Doubles Tournament. 582, 530. Okay, we're here with the uh, runners up of the first annual Diamond Bull No Tap tournament. Ollie Dillon and Walt Hunt. What do you guys have to say about this uh, great finals here, Ollie? It was a well bowled final, so there was a lot of strikes thrown. They just out bowled us. What about you, Will? You know, the finals were real nice, and I liked the tournament, and it was well run, and I think it'll be a bigger one next year. Plan on coming back next year, both of you? Yeah. Yep, we'll be back. Thanks to Coca Cola and to John Urshina Jr. and John Urshina well Sr. and Diamond Bowl. Okay, over to Quail there with the winners. I'm here with the winners now. They're from Bell Vernon down in the Pittsburgh area. Paul Bubnash, John Crisonic. Congratulations, fellas. Yeah, thank you. Great Very final nice. match. Thank you. We'd like to thank Coke uh, for donating a thousand dollars, and I'd like to thank John for running a nice tournament. My first one, and it went real nice. And we're definitely looking coming forward to coming back next year. Good deal, Paul. Uh, you had the final game, big 300. Had to be a thrill, huh? It was the best game I ever threw in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Okay, we'd like to get John Arsena Sr. out here now to present the winner's check and Mr. Bub Nash with his jacket. All right, uh, to the champions of the first annual Diamond Bowl Coca-Cola Classic, uh, I'm going to first give this jacket to Paul for shooting his 300. And uh, congratulations, Paul. And a nice game. And uh, congratulations on your win. And uh, you can have the jack, and I think I'll give the 1200 to John. <laughs> uh, you, guys, you guys can fight it out. Uh, thank everybody for coming around and watching and supporting these guys, and especially the Coke for donating the money, and uh, for Franklin uh, Video here for covering uh, the tournament. Uh, I hope we have a bigger and a better one next year. Thanks, John. Thank you all for coming. We'll see you all next year. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Yep. See you next